Hi guys, John here. Uh, this video today is just an update on the quail babies that uh, I'll post a video on. Um, but these are the quail babies uh, a week and like three days in. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three, week and four days. So um, nearly two weeks, but not. They're quite, quite. Uh, they're not quite there yet. Um, but all I'd like to say is that they're growing well. Uh, two of them have bad leg problems that I've tried to fix and hasn't been able to accomplish so I'll leave them how they are and see how they eventually go but I don't think it will get any better but um they're growing perfectly fine but just here we'll get a close-up of them I've got four different types of quails in here um I've got a normal wild type so these are Caternix quails to start off with these types of quails are a, a quail obviously but they're a larger type of quail so a normal quail is around 300 um, 120 grams these get to uh, I'll show you know my adults if you've seen them uh, my adults are around 550 grams so with these quails they will grow to that size round about so ma probably max out around 480 grams I don't think they'll get as big but I don't know uh, so I've got four different types of of like colors in here I've got goldens which is the white ones that you can see over there I've got a um, <laughs> they're actually called a, a probably called a golden tuxedo even though if you look at a golden tuxedo it's normally got black on it but it's not these ones have black on the head uh, I'll do a close-up wait for that to pass um, they I'll do a close-up and show you the black but they're called a golden tuxedo so those are that one and that one I've got a wild type color which is like that type color and that one I have a uh, one that the only one that hatched. It's called a uh, a golden. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just the golden quail. I'm not too sure. And then I've got a Tibetan quail. So that's black on top, or well, brown really on top, and white underneath. So I'll get one of them out at least. See the ones with the leg problems. You'll probably spot them out pretty soon. But it's this one. As I can see, see how he walks, and then there, funnily enough, he's ended up next to his good friend with the other walking problems. He's a little bit better, as you can see, he can kind of wobble along, but this one's got really bad legs. So I'll just pop it in. So, these are them. Pretty cool looking. There you go, that's a golden one for you. Got another black and white Tibetan quail. Just a big wild one at the back, and then those two golden tuxedos. So all I have them in, if you do know, is my, sorry about that. All I have them in, if you do or don't know, it's just a rat cage. Well, I bought it for my rats. They, they've passed away over a couple of years. Um, so these are for my rats. It's a three foot cage, fully adequate for at least up to nearly 30 quails until they get to around three weeks old. Um, as I said, these are nearly two weeks or another week, another two weeks they'll be going outside in the other pens. So um, they're not very, they don't take long to go out. All I'm feeding them if that is the Chick Starter. It's unmedicated Lockie Mills Chick Starter, uh, sorry, Game Bird Starter. And this has 28% protein in there. It's just a good growth rate for the babies to get a good head start in life. And um, I've just got a normal water dish in there. Um, so with these quails, um, I will be selling them, uh, not these specific ones, I'll be selling a couple out of here, I'll obviously be keeping the handicapped ones because they're special need quails, but um, other than that, because out of these, some of them are going to be male, and obviously I can't keep all the males, so I'll probably keep one male from here, or pref I'll push, but I'll probably just end up keeping two. Um, hope hopefully all most of them are females and uh i don't end up having to give quite a few away um if you don't know uh out of the 22 eggs i got these are the only ones that hatched so nine ended up hatching uh but out of the 22 uh nine were infertile so that's pretty good still that's over like 50 percent which i wasn't expecting at all and they're actually growing reasonably well and fast um so and i've just got them under a heat light you need to keep them under a heat light for around three weeks 
that's what when I take them off. And uh, you might, might be wondering what that black stuff is. This black stuff is just non-slip matting. I'll see over here. It's just some more chicken food. This non-slip matting you can buy from like Bunnings or the hardware store. I'm in Australia, so Bunnings or Masters or somewhere else. But I don't know, American or wherever places. But you can just buy this. It's like non-slip matting you can buy. Let's see? That type of stuff. You can buy that, put that there. Um, I just put on half so they've got better stability when they're eating and drinking. But there, as you can see, they also like to play around in there. <coughs> um, so that's pretty much it. There's not a hell of a lot to talk about, but I'll go give you an update on the adults. Um, the adults, they're not there anymore. They're not at the back of the fence where they used to be. I've actually recently moved them over to the other side of the garden. Um, and I'll just do another video on them. So, yep, yeah, just see you in a bit.